You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to another segment of CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA, the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Certified nursing assistants, or CNAs, are such an integral part of our entire healthcare system, yet they often go unrecognized for their very important contributions. Because healthcare is expanding, there are so many roles and opportunities for CNAs to make a difference in the lives of those in our community. Thank you to Public Broadcasting of West Virginia for initially publishing this story. More than 30 million Americans, 9.4%, have diabetes, according to the American Diabetes Association, with nearly 95% experiencing type 2 diabetes, with a disproportionate number living in Appalachia. Diabetes is a slow building disease largely influenced by lifestyle choices over a long period of time. This includes diet, exercise, stress management, and so on. Genetic variations also combine with diet and exercise habits to really contribute to a person's overall risk of diabetes. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention tracks diabetes rates per county throughout the United States. In 2011, the CDC labeled a 644 county area in the Southeast as the diabetes belt of the country. West Virginia, the only state fully located in Appalachia, had 48 of its 55 counties qualify for this diabetes belt. It currently leads the nation in the rate of occurrence with 15% of its population considered diabetic and another 35% qualifying as pre-diabetic. That means half of their population is already diagnosed as diabetic or pre-diabetic. Enter Kelly Browning, CNA. As a community health worker for Williamson Health and Wellness Center in Mingo County, West Virginia, Kelly is assigned to 29 of the primary care center's sickest patients. Most of her patients have more than one chronic disease and almost all of them have diabetes. Kelly's a certified nursing assistant, but if you ask her advisor, Jerome Klein, her most important qualification is that she's called the Hills and Haulers of Mingo County home her entire life. Kelly has known many of her patients for years. She knows how hard it's been to find work since the coal industry's decline in the region. She's been touched by the opioid epidemic, just like too many of her neighbors, and she cares about what happens to her patients. When Kelly Browning receives a new patient, before she can start setting health goals, she has to do two things. First, Kelly assesses her patient's needs, and second, Kelly earns his or her trust. Because Kelly is a longtime member of the community, she knows the nearby churches and food pantries to call to get her patients connected to more reliable food sources an important part of diabetes management and a difficult one to do when you live in poverty. She also works with a rural bus service to ensure her patients have transportation to and from their doctor's appointments. And because she knows the healthier options are often more expensive rather than asking her patients to overhaul their entire diet, Kelly often works with them on portion control to, de to decrease their carbohydrate and their sugar intake. Kelly uses her own network to help her patients. One male patient in particular was forced to have his leg amputated from complications of diabetes. Because her patient load requires her to travel throughout Mingo County, 
Logan County, and even crossing the border into Kentucky, Kelly couldn't make it every day to check on this patient who lives alone during his recovery process from his amputation. To help with the days that she couldn't make it to visit, Kelly walked into the local sheriff's department to ask that someone check on this patient regularly, a well-being check. She made friends with a young woman that works at the town's water department to get her to bring food to this patient. She had the senior center, just a few hundred yards away from this man's apartment, provide him meals. She even had her own mother stopping by to bring food and offer company. As Kelly says, after all, when it comes to somebody's well-being, what is too much? Kelly, you are a fantastic CNA in person. You are a part of something that is changing lives for the better, and you are a great example for all of us to follow. This is why today we honor you, Kelly Browning, CNA Hero.